What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Burley Fishing Channel. It's uh, Paul, Sands, Jeff, um, and I'm in my office. It has been a spicy moment since I have filmed a video in the office, really an unboxing of any kind. Uh, it's been so long, I kind of forgot how to set up the office. I was like, wait, which light does what? And this camera needs a microphone, this one does? So uh, it's been weird. We were doing a lot of fishing videos, um, which is great. We did the, uh, the yak installs, which is also super great. Um, but yeah, that means we haven't done a lot of unboxings, which means I also haven't done the bait spotlight, the you know small bait company review, that sort of thing. <laughs> All right, there's a like beard here. There it is. Anyways, it has been a hot second since we've done any kind of bait spotlight, um, small bait company review, anything like that. And so I went and I consulted my list and I was like, you know what, I haven't done these in a while, let's take a look. Um, went down the list and the first one on the list was actually Molex. Molex? 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 I'm pretty sure it's Molex. Um, but it's a, you know, not a small bait company. I mean, you can go get them on where I did, which was the old TW, um, you know, so they're, I mean, they're a giant company. They're working with people like Mike Iaconelli um, to, you know, produce hyper cool baits. Um, the reason they're on like this portion of the channel, which again is usually like small uh, to very small or maybe unknown bait companies, is that Mollusk is actually, to me, fairly unknown. I've used a couple of their jigs, I've used a couple of their, you know, hard baits, but like realistically, I have like virtually no feel for the company whatsoever. Now I reached out to Mr. Wishin I was fishing who, you know, honestly he works with them and he fishes them all the time. So I reached out to him, I was like, hey, thinking about putting in a Molex order just to kind of get a vibe for the company, maybe do a video, which is why we're here now. It's like, what should I order? What should I go grab? What are the best baits? What are the ones that you think that I should try that you think I'll like and have success with? And consequently, you know, testing someone with the experience to say, what are you gonna like? What do you wanna know about? So he sent me a list. I had that list sitting in wings and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it, let's just do it. So I went online, went to the T-dubs and I placed an order. You guys know the deal. I try and order around 50 bucks for the product um, just to keep things even so you get an idea of the value. Even though I'm gonna try and say the price as much as possible, um, you can see how far 50 bucks gets you in the video. Um, so I, within give or take five or 10 bucks, try and stay within $50 range. Now before I get into the unboxing, I just wanna say thank you so much for checking out this video. Um, if you hadn't heard, Jeff is kinda of taking a step back. We're kinda of through most of that. We're almost to the end of the tunnel here. But I just wanna say thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and I think we're going to need to the gut the notification bell today. So please go ahead and do that. Remember, the harder you hit the subscribe button or the notification bell, the louder it rings, and we actually get two subscriptions for the price of one if you ah, hit it nice and hard, so go do that. All right, so let's get down to the unboxing. We're cracking open the box. And let's see what we got. All right, first thing up is the Trago Spin. Let's get a zoom up here. Check that out. Now, actually, this was a relatively, I think, newer bait when back when I asked Mr. Wish and I was fishing about this. And he basically said, I mean, this was like in the fall or the early, early spring, actually. He was like, get this bait, it's very cool. And now that I actually, like the pictures online, the they're kind of like very zoomed in, so it doesn't really do justice. Like this is a quarter ounce. Like, you can kind of see it on the photos, but the disparity between the size of the bait and the size of the blade is like almost hard to reconcile. Um, I went with the uh, perch color, which, um, there's two things I like about the perch color. Let me open it up for you and show you. Um, but there's two things I like about the perch color. First, I'm in the Midwest, so we have a lot of perch, so that is like a food source for bass here. Um, which is very good for me, right? That means that's something that the uh, bass are used to seeing. So it's a pattern I wanna mimic a lot. Um, the other thing I like about perch patterns is a lot of time, especially in this case, you can kind of tell, you get a lot of like gold bladed um, or darker blade versus silver kind of patterns to go with it. This is so small, it's almost hard to like showcase here, um, but check that guy out. Uh, this one is happens to be a quarter ounce. I will tell you right now, I can already tell the components are like super high quality. Check this out. It says, I'm gonna try and super zoom. It says Trago quarter ounce right there in the front of the lip. How freaking cool is that? Um, it does have, it also is coming with some hardware. So you can see right here, there's a split ring at the top. It is, it looks like it's coated, which is kind of nice. Uh, same with the hook. And the hook is, it kind of seems oversized until you see the size of the blade. It kind of totally makes sense. But it is a nice looking treble hook. The paint job is very cool. It's like holographic. It's got a lot of 3D elements. There's some light for you. Gorgeous looking perch. But look at, even it's got the little, it's got the little fin there at the bottom. It's pretty freaking sweet. Um, 
definitely looks high quality. And again, this blade, I don't know if it, I can tell immediately just by touching it, it won't stop moving. There you go. It is a high blade, got the Moloch stamp on there. This is an awesome cold water bait, but this is also almost like a finesse bait. Um, I cannot wait to throw this one. I'm probably gonna throw it on a medium light, um, or maybe just a medium. I'm probably gonna throw this on a medium, being that it's a quarter ounce. Um, again, probably spinning gear, only because I really wanna take the most advantage possible of that single treble hook. Don't wanna be losing fish, wanna let the rod do the work. I think this thing will definitely catch them. Now I will say this, this is like a $9 bait. So I kinda went out on a limb with this one. Um, but I'm really glad I did, it's gorgeous. And I've been seeing a lot of this style of bait, like some sort of uh, weight and then a big old spinner at the back. I've not seen one in these proportions um, or this high quality, to be honest with you. But there are a bunch of these kind of hitting the market this year. We saw a few of them at the tail end of last season and then really saw like a wave of them come for 2022. So I'm really excited to try this one out. This looks like it would just absolutely crush over grass. Honestly, quarter ounce too is a little bit easier to keep up high. It's gonna crush over grass. Cannot wait to fish that. Now, as I mentioned, Mike Iaconelli and Molex have done have gotten together and done some baits, um, you know, sort of as a collaboration. This one is called the Rattlin Vibe. Uh, and Molex being an Italian company, which I did not realize, um, partnering with Mike Iaconelli, um, this is a really unique looking bait, and honestly, it's kind of exceeding my expectations. Again, seeing the picture of it didn't necessarily do it justice. Uh, this color is called Charming Shad. I'll crack it open in a second. Um, but this is kind of like a unique take on like any other bladed jig, like a chatter bait. Um, but I'm gonna show you what makes this one super unique. First thing you're gonna notice is that the blade is actually firmly attached to the body, molded into the body. This is plastic, and this is an ABS plastic body. It does have a very tinny, the tinniest of rattles, holy cow. Um, but it's kind of loud. And then you can see that sort of like sexy shad looking color, charming shad, if you will, um, which I kind of like the name there. Uh, and it does come with the hardware, which I do like to see. I don't like it when baits don't come with the hardware. So that's the clip in the front, um, which is fantastic, but super cool looking bait. Again, look at this guy right there. It's got the name written on top, the Molex lover right there. That's pretty cool. Um, but what does make this bait unique? Well, first of all, what's free and floating in the back is actually just the hook. And if you look carefully, which is like normally, your looseness is right here. Uh, the looseness in the bait is up here on the blade, but here it's on the back. Um, but what you'll notice is this very interesting, it's basically a straight shank flipping hook. Check that out, which means you can rig a plastic weedless on this. This is meant to be drugged through heavy cover, um, stick stumps, things like that. And because you have that, again, that flipping hook in the back, that straight shank flipping hook in the back, you can read all your regular plastics weedless. Um, it's got a pretty sparse skirt, a little chartreuse, a little white. You really can't go wrong with that color combo. Um, this might be the first bait that I try out. It's a great time of year. This is a great search bait. Um, maybe you're searching shallow, maybe you're searching with high grass, places with a lot of sticks. Um, you really, I don't know if you can go wrong with this one. It's gonna definitely create unique action. I've not seen a blade, like almost diamond shaped like this one. Um, should push a lot of stuff out of the way as it's going through. And then if you got a weedless hook, I don't see why you couldn't drag this through some heavy stuff. It's, um, what size did I go with on this one? I think I went three eighths. That's right, I went three eighths. Oh, and it does have the, um, an OMTD brand hook. I've never used those before, uh, so we'll see if it stands up. I mean, it seems like a nice hook. Um, and it seems like a cool design. Again, like a, to me, this is a very unique design. Uh, what is a bait that I use all the time? As a matter of fact, I, I use them so often, along with my TW Warehouse uh, order, I got three of the OG Chatterbaits. So, you know, I'm gonna love, love running me some Chatterbaits, but I cannot wait to put this one up against sort of like, you know, the Z-Man or the Jackhammers or whatever. Um, can't wait to put this one up against it. Very, very cool. And again, weedless, super good idea. So gotta hand it to Ike on the design of this one. It is, if anything, again, I can't make any promises on how good it's work, gonna work, but it is unique. So can't wait to try that one. All right, the next bait is the Freaky Flex. It is a kind of a finesse flipping bait. Um, this looks so cool. You could definitely Ned rig this. You could absolutely Carolina rig this, but the size is what really intrigued me, along with the action. So this is a three inch bait. The color is watermelon candy, and this might be the heaviest, the heaviest duty of um, packaging I've seen in a long time. 
This thing feels like it's like bomb proof. I don't even know if I need the bag anymore. Like this thing is gonna stay shut on its own. Kind of don't hate it. This is like one of the few clamshells that might actually be a good idea. Um, but let's get one of these out and get a close up look at the, holy, what? What? Okay, I'm, so it's called the Freaky Flex and this is why. It is super, super stretchy and it is unbelievably soft. This is, of all the soft plastics that I have used that have like elastic type properties, this is the softest, not a question. This is the softest. Oh my gosh. All right, this is really cool. So let's, let's get a close up on this bait. So as you can see, it's got a super like oddly trimmed portion right here. It's super ribbed body at the back here. This is where your hook would come out. So it's got a little hook point hider right there. Um, we got one, two, it's like a craw type appendages. So you got your craws right here, but you got your, I don't know, your extra appendages right there. And then the two weird ball shaped things here <laughs> hanging down below. Um, I, I, I don't know what this is supposed to mimic. I don't really care. I think it looks really cool. Um, you can see the reason it's kind of called watermelon candy. Uh, you've got green on the bottom with that green flake and then like a purple on top. Um, like a green pumpkin purple on top. You know that's like a supernatural color. I mean, you, there's never, there's never going to be a bad time for this. I don't really know if there's a bad way to rig this. Like, I wonder if it floats. Now I want to know if it floats. So this is a six pack for like six bucks, like a dollar each. Kind of expensive. Definitely not free. Flexible, bite proof, floating compound. So it is floating. So maybe this will be the first thing I throw. I don't really know if there's a bad way to do this. Like this would be great on the back of that rattle and vibe, like as a trailer, no problem. It'd be awesome as like a micro flipping bait. It would be great as a net rig. It would honestly be a great drop shot. There's really no bad way to rig this. Um, it does seem super durable. Um, and I guess this is an original Molex formula, phthalate free. I like that. Anything, any time that you are doing anything to like increase the either recyclability or the fish safe properties um, of plastics where they're going to do less damage to the environment, to the waterways, I'm on board. So even if it's something as simple as phthalate free, I'm in. I can't wait to try this one now. Dang. All right, next up, I've got a finesse spinner bait. This is their Heritage Series. Um, it's a very compact spinner bait, but check it out, double willow blades. Um, that was Im what immediately had my attention. I have not seen a bait this small with two big Colorado blades on it. This thing is absolutely going to be thumping like crazy and you're not really gonna miss a bite. It's a small package, so like there's not a lot to miss. Um, I'm thinking this is gonna be a dark water, stained water killer and because it's that finesse size, that smaller size, I really think it's gonna do an awesome job in the river. This one still, even with that small package, is still a half ounce. So let's break it open and take a look. Oh. Holy hefty. Okay, this guy thing has some heavy duty components. Like first of all, this wire is like super heavy duty. It is not, you're, you're not bending that one out. Period, the end on any fish. I don't care what happens. The blades are really cool. They've actually got like, like hammered glitter into them. This is gonna be really hard to see. Let's see if we can zoom in. The silver blades probably we're gonna be able to see it the most but there's actually like blue, come on, there's actually like blue flake like hammered into the blade. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on camera, but there's like blue flake like hammered onto this thing. Um, God, super high quality. It does have your beaded spacers right here to keep your um, blades apart so they're not clacking each other too much, just the right amount. Um, super high quality paint job on the head, a couple tones there. Got the painted on eyes, they're, they're actually 3D. Extra fine cut laser skirt, super high quality, not too long, not a lot of opportunity to trim, but again, it is a very finesse uh, style spinner bait. And then this is interesting, no hook, no no bait keeper at all. Straight hook, no, no bait keeper. Interesting. I'm 100% down to throw this one. This is gonna be a lot of fun to fish. Again, in a half ounce in a compact size like this, Super cool. And this thing is just gonna be slow rolling over everything. This might be my new favorite spinner bait. This thing is freaking cool. However, that is another $9 bait. So that is going to be a hefty price tag. So even though these baits are very high quality and they, they really are, you're gonna pay the price. Um, you're not getting anything for free. So maybe shop these on clearance because they ain't cheap. 
So we got another Lover Series um, baits. This is their Super Squeaky Buzz Bait. This one is all black. The color's called Luna Nera. Nera? Luna Nera? Um, the number of black buzz baits that I have totals one, now that I have this one. <laughs> I've never had one before. Maybe I've had, I've maybe had one before, but this is a very cool looking buzz bait. It's got some super high end components. This is also the most expensive bait of the bunch, coming in at almost $14. Again, not a freebie. This one is a half ounce. Um, let's crack it open because I cannot wait to show you guys the paint job on this thing. Now, why is it called the Super Squeaky? Well, we're gonna find out here, but apparently it's got like a component on the blade that when it, uh, when the blade's rolling, it makes like a super squeaky sound, like a really unique squeak sound. So let's see. Oh, I see what we're doing here. Okay, I'm hoping you guys can pick up that sound on the mic, but look really closely. That little, you can see the blade is rotating around this little tiny gold piece. Now that gold piece, you can see has some texture to it. There we go. There's some texture on that little gold piece right there. So when this spins around, it's rubbing up against that and that's what's making that unique sound. Pretty darn cool. Also, you notice they, up at the top here, they've shrink wrapped right around the hook. I don't know why they have to do that or why they decided to do it. Maybe just to keep grass off of it, more than likely, because they probably wrapped uh, the, the, um, the metal around itself. Um, and they're trying to keep this as weedless as possible. I like that attention to detail. But another detail I wanted to show you is, check out the paint job on the jig head. Are you serious? That is the nicest matte black I think I've ever seen. That is gorgeous with the red eye. Freaking gorgeous. And then you get the Batman skirt, the black and the yellow. Let's see. Now this hook is another OMTD hook, straight shank, but it does have the hook holder, the double hook holder. But um, dude, gorgeous looking buzz bait. Again, probably one of the highest end buzz baits I have. Also 13 bucks, not a free one. So I don't know. Hopefully you're getting what you're paying for. All right, next up we have a finesse square bill. Not really a square bill, I'll call it a, um, a crankbait. Very cool color scheme though, very cool design. And you know what's crazy is this thing dives down up to seven feet. It is 3 16 of an ounce. That is certainly finesse -y. Really, oh, this thing is light. I thought it was gonna be way heavier. Holy cow. And there is some, the paint job is so cool. Look at that splash of gold right there in the middle. How sick is that? Look at flat body all the way along the top. Again, they're put, they're painting their name right there on top too. Um, love the hooks. This thing almost feels like an action figure kind of plastic. Super smooth, super clean. Um, here's the bill shape. This is the bill that's getting you down max depth of seven feet. Interesting design there. You can see the the nose is pointed where the where the bill connects. I don't know. We'll see if seven feet is really achievable, but. This paint job is crazy. Look at that, like the forehead of the bait. It has like these little creases in it. Not the black ones, but there's like little white ones. Like the amount of detail on the paint job is kind of crazy. And um, also not a cheap bait. I think this one was seven bucks. So it's not free. All right, next up we've got this really cool uh, chartreuse swim jig. Um, this one was developed with Justin Lucas. It's one of his signature baits. There's the little, there's that guy's picture right there. Um, VMC hook. There was so much going on with this bait, it was actually hard to keep track. All right, first of all, I don't know. I'm not like super impressed by the jig head. It kind of looks very like benign to me. I mean, it's good, you know, swim jig presentation. Um, chartreuse, white, a little bit of silver, all good things. The skirt is, yes, made of silicone, not a lie. A little bit of chartreuse, mostly white. This is great, by the way. This is like, for me, chartreuse and white for any moving kind of bait is like the way to go. I mean, there's not really a bad situation to throw chartreuse and white. But I, I am looking now at this uh, weed guard. First of all, it's white, uh, which I really like with this color combo, but it's gonna get an aggressive angle. Um, I don't know, man. Not a lot of strands in this one, but it's a swim jig, so I kind of focus. I kind of expect that. Um, though, how is it tied in? It's got like bronzy, like copper looking tie, which is really interesting because it like really contrasts with the bait there. So let's, you can kind of see right inside of there. They use like almost like a copper bronzy color for the tie, which I think is weird because it's a white and chartreuse bait. 
I don't know. I'm being super nitpicky, you guys. Um, so that's a little weird. But there is your hook keeper. Their unique, perfect seal hook keeper. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know if I'm sold. I think for five or 550, um, you're doing okay because it's a good looking swim jig. It definitely seems heavy duty. This hook it feels like it could tow Superman um, back from his home planet to Earth. But like otherwise, I'm not like super impressed. I don't know. The line tie, like, isn't, that's, I don't know. I'm gonna have to fish it. I'm not thrilled about doing it but I'm going to do it now. I don't want to do uh, disparage Mr. Justin Lucas because he's 100,000 times the fisherman than I am. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But as of this millisecond, I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, I think I'd put my Super K Burley fishing jig up against this one any day. All right, then we've got last up, two different versions of the Rad Shad. These are pretty cool, high density plastic swim baits. I needed a couple again, a three eighths inch and a four and a half inch. Um, this one is in the like motor oil color, which is like my new favorite color that I'm always chasing. That sort of like, um, tannish green pumpkinish color uh, and then this one is in ghost gill which by the way in my personal opinion is never a bad idea all right so it's like almost purple on top the plastic with like a lot of blue flake and then motor oil on the bottom but even with the ribbing along the body it goes all the way to like the very very back and then the tail is just like very loose this means this thing is going to kick a ton and you can see that the tail is meant to grab water there with this little connector piece right there it means this thing's going to grab a ton of water I think this is going to be hyper kicky. Um, it, it is a dense plastic. Real action shad, it says on the package. Real action shad. This is a really cool color. Holy smokes. Look at that. I know it seems so boring, but like it is 3D. You can see right through most of it. Um, white with like black on top. And then it's gold, light blue, and black flake. This is, there's no bad situation to throw a color like this. Same exact design, but it is in that 3.8 inch size, so it's a little bit smaller. I will be rocking this one a ton. These are gonna get bit up and absolutely abused. All right, so that is what I ordered from Mollix. I'm gonna give you my overall impressions and do a quick recap. Um, and actually, we'll do the recap first. So. We'll go in reverse order. You got the two Rad Shads. These ones were 3.8 and they were 4.5 inch. We had the Swim Jig um, from Justin Lucas. We had the Buzz Bait. Um, really impressed with that one. That's a cool bait. We had the, we had the Finesse Crank Bait in that craw color. Super cool. We had the Finesse Spinner Bait, Freaky Flex Plastics. We had the Lover Rattlin' Vibe Jig, super unique. And then we had the Trago Spin Tail. Um, all in all, I think like all of those baits, you can tell that a ton, a ton, a ton of attention to detail went to those baits. And almost none of them are just like, here's a crankbait. Like the crankbait was like, a super lightweight, like deep diving finesse crank. The, <clears throat> the spinnerbait, double Colorado, super heavy duty, compact, you know, spinnerbait. Not one that you pretty much see anywhere. You know, that plastic, it's a Mollux original, you know, micro flipping plastic that's super stretchy and is like probably one of the coolest Ned baits I've seen in a long time. Um, now the Rad Shed's probably the exception, a little bit basic. But the buzz bait was super high quality, it had some really unique features um, and just a lot very different than what you see in a normal store. The Trago, right? That huge blade, tiny, tiny body, really, really cool ideas um, kind of across the board. I think the rattle and vibe, um, like a weedless bladed jig i love it i mean because where do you throw a bladed jig around wood and what does wood do it gets it grabs hooks that's what it does so you're helping yourself out in that scenario i just think i love innovative companies that are willing to make baits that are just outside the norm that's why i wanted to feature mollux looking at some of those baits there are things that i never saw before and things that i want to try um the flip side of that is you're, you're getting very high quality but you're paying for it it's not like you're getting like you know, some sort of insane value. I mean, the value proposition is there, but it's not like, oh, these are really expensive baits and super high quality, the super high quality and you're paying for it. So do with that what you will. I have no problem paying for baits that I think I'm gonna love and that are unique. So um, I'll maybe make a fishing video with some of these baits. I don't know, I'm gonna be in Lake St. Clair, but in like a couple of days. So, you know, maybe in a week or two, you could see me fishing these baits and hopefully catching some fish on them. So I don't know, maybe we'll do that. 
Either way, thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for liking, subscribing, smashing the like button, ringing the notification bell, blah, 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 blah. Thanks for showing your support. We here at Rarely Fishing really do appreciate it. And I hope you learned something today. I hope you saw something, you know, maybe you got your eyes open to Mollux, a brand that maybe you've seen, but um, haven't been willing to try or maybe thought about trying, but haven't done so yet. Maybe this inspires you to do, maybe this inspires you to do so, or maybe it inspires you to not do so. And, you know, go buy your, you know, Eagle Claw standbys or whatever. Either way, again, thanks for checking out the video and we'll catch you out on the water and on the next video. Later.